Women have to stay sexually attractive, desirable. Yeah, it's that quotient, that factor. Some women are and some women aren't. Are you? <laughs> so can we just clear up the plastic surgery thing? Tonight, the world according to Cher. The truth about her plastic surgery, where she has and hasn't had it, and her enduring appeal, Cynthia McFadden with Cher, up front, untamed. It's wrong for you to ask me that question. But I did. Cher, in all her glory. I'm up there with Britney Spears. I'm up there with all these girls that are younger than my children. What's the secret of Cher's appeal? 40 years in the spotlight. When Prime Time returns. That's all you have to say. She's enough of a celebrity to use just one name. But if you ask any two people what makes Cher famous, chances are you'll get different answers. Her singing, her acting, her television show with Sonny. It's not easy to define, but clearly there is something, well, just irresistible about her. And tonight, she sits down with Cynthia McFadden to talk no holds barred. Love, sex, all of it, including what it's like to be Cher. Is there any hair color she can't wear? No. Blonde, black, and even red. One recent night, we joined Cher as she shot a commercial for her new CD, Living Proof. Living Proof, all right, of what a diva at 55 is capable of. I'm easily amused. Six hours of cheerful shooting until 3 in the morning for a 30-second commercial. Hi, Cynthia McFadden for Cher. Earlier that evening, she asked us to come to her home in Malibu, high above the beach. She lives just the way you want a movie star to live, big. When we entered her sitting room next to her bedroom, we weren't sure which version of Cher would emerge from behind the curtain. We got the blonde. Had she really dyed all that black hair? Underneath this, I still have long black hair. That's right, it's a blonde wig. I, n I never, ever, ever change that part of me because you can't change who you really are underneath all this fluff and crap is me very well, i was about to say really solid but not really solid but is me and it's just it's just me it's just me like i was six years old i haven't changed in all that time in a hundred years i start thinking first for myself when the girls come in then we go to the bridge all that's working great not a hundred years, but 40 years in the public eye. And while she may feel that she hasn't changed on the inside, on the outside, she has gone from 16-year-old Sherilyn LaPierre to Cher Bono to Cher Allman to Cher. No one would say just plain Cher. Do you believe in love and love and love? Content she is not. I can feel something to say. always felt and I still do just on the outside just on the perimeter of of everything I'm not an actress actors don't consider me an actress singers don't consider me a singer um, gay men consider me their best friend you know and I and think that that's men? one of the, and straight men are a little bit nervous do you think you'd be hard to have as a girlfriend now no, I'm such an easy person to be, to have a relationship with, except for my work. Well, but that's a pretty big except. Yes. I've had a couple of boyfriends that really, it was not a problem because they were so kind of secure in themselves. But I think, like, it must be great to be, I don't know, Mrs. Mel Gibson, Mrs. George Clooney, Mrs. somebody, but nobody wants to be Mr. Cher. Are you dating anybody right now? No. Nope. Would you like to be? I mean, I've always kind of been like this. I am not the kind of woman that makes Mr. Wrong, Mr. Right for right now. I mean, if I go to dinner with someone, I'm basically going to live with them for two years. It kind of works out that way. If you go to dinner with someone? Yeah. 
because I don't ever go to dinner with anybody. But if I meet somebody and actually make a, you know, go out with them, it, it's usually ended up, it's a two-year thing. Does he love me? I wanna know. Sort of. She dated actor Val Kilmer before he was famous for two years. She was with billionaire David Geffen a couple of years, too. Gene Simmons of the rock group Kiss was also a two-year sort of boyfriend. On the other hand, her marriage to then wild man Greg Allman of the Allman Brothers Band squeaked into three years. And Robert Camilletti, 18 years her junior, the one Cher says was the love of her life, she was with him for double the average, four years. Right now, no dinners, no romance. What there is, is work. I'll take it all the way to the end. Okay. Like these rehearsals for her new music video, she is well aware that she is attempting a high wire act. Let's wing it first and yeah, see what right. happens. Yeah. Releasing a new CD on the heels of her past monster hit, Believe, in an industry that reveres you. We Will Wither when she debuted the single from that CD, a song for the lonely, at the American Music Awards. I really want to be able to get up there, my size 27 jeans, and dance around the stage and look good. You know, I'm trying to keep the package viable. Is she ever? Do you like how you look now? I was more happy at, at 40. 40 was like the, a, a very good year for me, you know? But I think for my age, I look good. Anything good about getting older? No. Nothing? No. I'm not smarter. I'm not, I'm not anything. I mean, I would love to lie, but I don't think there's anything good about it. See, I don't see what there's not to like about being 50. Well, you're not 50. Almost. And I'm not 50 either. I mean, I'm about to be 56. It's just, it's not that horrendous. But if you're asking me, do I love it? No. Would I rather be 40? Yes. I can't, I mean, I can't find anything better about it. Let me just put it that way. And I'm just not going to, I'm just not going to Gloria Stein him out and say, oh, no, I'm thrilled. Since becoming 50 you live in this fabulous house yes you're one of the most famous women in the world yes. you've had a hit record it yes. looks like you might just have another one i know what's not to like what's not to like i'm grateful i didn't say i was grateful you said how do you like being older and i said it's not as good as being younger also i mean i'm up there with britney spears you know i'm up there with all these girls that are 12. i'm up there with all these girls that are younger than my children and how does that feel? Actually, last night it felt pretty good. And I thought, oh, this is interesting. They're happy I'm here. And speaking of pop diva Britney Spears, who often says Cher is a role model, she has this great ambition to be better, which I really respect and reminds me a lot of myself. Do you think, looking at her, oh, I wish I could tell her just one thing? Oh, I've told her some things. Like? Take it easy. You know, if it doesn't matter in five years, it doesn't matter. Which is something my mother told me. Don't sweat the small stuff. You know, it's like the infomercial. Five years later, it wasn't such a big deal. Ah, uh, the infamous infomercial of 1991. Having just won the Academy Award for her role in Moonstruck, critics went crazy that she followed it up with a cheesy plug. A favor for a friend with a line of hair care products. And I'm real excited that I'm the infomercial ran over and over again. Products to people. It took me a long, long time to dig my way out of that. So why did she do it? She says now it was just a mistake in judgment. She was ill with Epstein Barr disease. This is the note she left on her bedroom door at the time, stricken with debilitating fatigue. It became a wrong choice. Am I sorry for it? No. You're not? No. It was yeah, one of those things. Yeah, but you things. really hurt yourself, don't you think? Oh, yeah, I really did hurt myself. But I'm not sorry I did it. Shoot me, I did an infomercial. <laughs> you know, okay, you know, 
I've also got an Academy Award. People always decide things on success, but failure is highly underrated. I mean, failure can be fabulous in growth. This lemoned into lemonade philosophy has served her well, beginning as a young girl. Dyslexia didn't suffer, nor did poverty, moving dozens of times or growing up without a father. A father she finally met for the first time at the age of 11. He had problems. Oh, yeah. I mean, he was a drug addict, and he um, was in jail. Did it change how you thought about yourself? No, because he was very charming, and he was very likable. I just didn't know him. And then I became famous, and it's, po it's impossible to get to know someone then. Because? They don't know you from the beginning, so it's impossible. You can't get that relative feeling, you know? You can't get a father feeling then. But she did look like him. We have this certain smile where we don't show our teeth, but it's a definite smile. And when I saw my father, I thought, well, that's, that's where that comes from. You're doing it right now. Yeah. Huh? And her mother, a beautiful, blonde, struggling bee actress who gave birth to Cher when she was only 17 and who moved Cher and her younger sister around the fringes of Hollywood as she changed jobs and husbands. My mother was married eight times. There was never a man in our house. I don't know how she did this. They say I love won't pay the rent. Little wonder, perhaps, that the teenage Cher was hunting for someone of her own. She found Sonny Bono. Did he play daddy to you, do you think, at the beginning? Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely. I mean, I was 16, he was 28. I was, you know, out on the street, kind of by myself, and he was, he'd been married, he, you know, he was a grown-up. In the beginning, it was absolutely the best of times. It didn't get to be the worst of times until really right before I left him, because I was growing up, but he wasn't so interested in that, you know? He, he didn't like grown-up women. He liked younger women. But in Hollywood, even youth and beauty aren't enough. To be exceptional like Cher, it takes more. Some women are and some women aren't. Desirable. Yes. In a well, sexual way. Yes. Are you? <laughs> well, you're, I mean, it's wrong for you to ask me that question. But I did. Okay. Yeah. I think maybe it comes like me on the on the boat, on the gun. It's not something that you actually control or that you do. Oh, you can height, you can heighten it, and you can polish it, and you can, you know, blow it up, and you can make it larger than it was. But I think that it has to do with certain intrinsic values. And if you were to lose that thing well I'll, I'll never lose it really i mean i might lose it visually but I, it's never going to change how, what kind of a woman i am it's a state of mind yeah you either like something or you don't you either enjoy it or you don't i guess it's like playing basketball or riding a bicycle right and if you were to lose your sexual allure at this point what would that do to your career i could honestly be just as happy doing something that isn't quite as as in the spotlight but that gives me a lot of pleasure you know there's a lot to be said for not being in the spotlight but how would you know well <laughs> well uh, yeah that's true when prime time returns the whole truth about shares plastic surgery they sort of say, make the Michael Jackson analogy that you've gone too far. Do you feel like you've gone too far? Well... <laughs> Primetime Thursday continues after this from our ABC stations. Time continues. Once again, Charles Gibson. If nothing else, Cher tells it like it is. And she's about to be very upfront about all the cosmetic surgery that she's had. Cynthia McFadden continues now with what you always wanted to know about Cher. Some snapshots from the life of a legend. Best moment. Winning the Academy Award. 
favorite outfit? Oh, it was an outfit that Bob made for me to wear on the cover of Time magazine. And it was just so spectacular. Repeated mistake. I don't know, because I don't think I repeat too many of the same mistake. I just think of new ones. Not everyone agrees. Some say she has repeated a big mistake, having too much plastic surgery. The tabloids have had a field day with it. If I'd had as much plastic surgery as they, you know, like I've got <laughs> implants and calf implants and cheek implants. I mean, hair loss expert says Cher going bald. Cher's a plastic surgery junkie. I mean, I've always been great fodder for that gris mill, you know? Maybe because I was really flamboyant, because I didn't hide anything, because when I got my nose and my teeth done, I said it because it didn't occur to me that that would be anything that anybody would even care about. So has she had her ribs removed to make her waist smaller? New cheekbones implanted? So can we just clear up the plastic surgery thing for all time, for sure. the record? No cheek implant. No, I mean, you could see I've had my, the same cheeks my entire life. No butt lift, no ribs removed. You know, on both of my children's lives, I have never even thought about having any ribs taken out. You have had work done on your face. Yeah. But, you know, it's not anything that I haven't ever said. They sort of say, make the Michael Jackson analogy, that you've gone too far. Do you feel like you've gone too far in... Well, no, I don't, you know. If I want to put my tits on my back, it's nobody's business but my own, you know? And if people don't like me because of that, well, then that's, I mean, this is America. Do I really feel the way? And maybe only in America can a 55-year-old actress who doesn't have a line in her face say she's looking forward to playing old women. Go figure. You know, because I'll be a great old hysterical cool old woman you right? don't look like an old woman no but i mean i'm not talking about today but i'm talking about in the you know in the future yeah but they have wrinkles well I, i'm gonna have wrinkles real soon well you'll see other share moments way in which you're most misunderstood maybe that i'm loose if you've dressed the way i've dressed people have a tendency to think that you're stupid or cheap or a floozy. I'm not any of those things. Do you ever eat to your heart's content? Yeah, lots of time. Last night, I went to Jack in the Box. I had two Jack tacos, a chocolate shake, and onion rings, and it was great. Happiest day. Oh, once when I was in Tahiti with my kids and we were on a log in the ocean and we were doing a seesaw back and forth. The kids. Chastity, famous before kindergarten. Do you think it's been hard to be your daughter? Yeah, I think it's hard to be... I think it's hard for both of them. And Elijah Blue, her 25-year-old son with Greg Allman. I mean, they have had a great life and a horrible life, you know? But in life, you get what you get, you know? And then you make something out of it. Back to the snapshots. Worst day. Sonny's death. Role model. Catherine Hepburn. Best feature. My brain. Worst feature. My brain. Thing about yourself you'd change. My brain. Advice? No. My mother also said, if you're gonna steal something, make sure it's big. Ever stolen anything? Uh, eyelashes. Tell her to steal big, she'll steal small. And that seems about right. She doesn't really follow anyone else's path. She's an original. What do you know for sure? That the truth is the most important thing and kind of is the thing that lives forever. Drums keep pounding a rhythm to the brain. The little girl without a daddy, who never graduated from high school, created a persona that has galloped through four decades. 
and shows no signs of stopping. Yes, the beat goes on. And the beat goes on. And the beat goes on. The beat goes on. The beat goes on. Cher is expected to go on tour this summer, possibly for the last time. She wants instead, she says, to concentrate on her film career and is scheduled next to do a musical remake of Auntie Mae. We'll be right back. The ageless Cher is back at it again, out with a new album. And before Matt left for an early weekend, he sat down with Cher to talk about her latest project. Cher's love for making records and making music paid off big time with the release of her 1998 single, Believe. It would become a global sensation and one of the biggest hits of her career. Do you really 